Uh, it is Tuesday morning. I hope everybody had a good weekend. This is a live update on the vaccine. So we posted information about a noon deadline to the city to respond to our latest uh, correspondence. As many of you can guess, the city ignored that 12 o'clock deadline, didn't even respond. Go to hell. Shouldn't be a surprise. The reality is the city acknowledged from the beginning their obligation to bargain in good faith over this subject. They have refused. And because they have refused and put a line in the sand and said it's take it or leave it pretty much, that's why we're at where we're at. That being said, going forward, here's where we're at. This afternoon, we're notifying the city of the demand for expedited arbitration along with filing a unfair labor practice with the labor board. Tomorrow, we will be filing court paperwork for a temporary restraining order and try and get some relief in the courts uh, and see where we go from there. What does that mean to the membership? This is very clearly not a job action, not a call for a strike, none of that illegal stuff that I'm sure the city is going to try and make it out to be. If the city maintains its current course, come midnight on Thursday slash Friday morning, members will be forced into a no-pay status that did not complete the portal information or subject to testing thereafter. That's their last position. Here's our position. The city from the beginning has said that the religious exemption is the same as the conscientious exemption allowed under state statute. It is not. It is totally separate. But they have not made an accommodation for that separate exemption. We will. We're going to provide three forms later today for religious, for medical, and for the conscientious exemption. We're asking members to submit those on Thursday, not anytime sooner. Submit those all on Thursday. Give everything at one time, and that's it. Do not fill out the portal information. You are under no obligation to do that other than the city's demand. Once you do that, we can never get that information back. We have no assurances from the city that that is secure, what that information is, is going to entail as far as going forward, who it's going to be shared with, etc. That is all part of the subjected mandatory bargaining that they have refused to do to this point. So do not fill out the portal information. That leads to some further questions. John, that's going to put us in a no-pay status come midnight. I understand that. And just so you all know, in solidarity, starting at midnight, I will myself go into a no-pay status as your president because I think it's the right thing to do. I've made my status very clear as far as the vaccine, but I do not believe the city has the authority to mandate that to anybody, let alone that information about your medical history and change the terms of employment, so to speak, on the fly, and you have to comply. So what happens if you go into a no-pay status? Well, many of you are getting phone calls, whether you're on furlough or on the medical or IOD right now from sergeants and lieutenants. That was a department directive. Those lieutenants are simply following the department order. They're putting together spreadsheets so officers can't say, I didn't know. They're documenting the date and time that you were notified. So again, it's no big deal. It's harassing, I know. It's a pain in the ass. But it's the city's clear attempt to force officers to chicken little, the sky is falling into compliance. Do not fall for it. Hold the line. The simple fact that they keep putting out public statements, emails, and having bosses call you means one thing. Our members are holding the line. And officers from all ranks are not going into that portal. They clearly must have a very, very low cooperation level, which is good. It's information they shouldn't be entitled to. But... Once that Friday midnight comes, uh, you will be in a no-paid status. It will be a non-disciplinary no-pay status. That non-disciplinary no-pay status has still not even been clarified by Management Labor Affairs or the Department or the City Attorneys on what exactly that is because it is a new category that doesn't currently exist. Um, those days would be theoretically treated such as suspension dates. They would push back your pension. You'd have to make up those days past your anniversary date, etc. 
But the moment someone goes into a no-pay status, we already have the language drafted for a class action grievance for all members affected. That will be submitted without delay. Anybody who does go into that no-pay status, we're asking you to call the lodge come Friday so we can keep track of everybody that is in that status so we can include them in that class action grievance going forward. All I can tell you is if we suspect the numbers are true and we get a large number of our members to stand firm on their beliefs that this is an overreach and they're not going to supply the information in the portal or submit the testing, then it's safe to say the city of Chicago will have a police force at 50% or less for this weekend coming up. That is not because of the FOP. That is 100% because of the mayor's unwillingness to budge from her hard line. So whatever happens because of that manpower issue, that falls at the mayor's doorstep. This could have all been avoided, but it literally has been like everything else with this mayor for the last two and a half years. Do it or else, because I said so. Well, we say otherwise. The exemptions, like I said, we're going to have those out later today. Fill out one of the three and submit it. It's very likely the city is going to reject the conscientious object, or exemption request because they're not acknowledging it to this point. But again, that is state statute. You are entitled to submit it. And we want the, the city to take a position formally on that so we can take that to court also. Insurance. When you get suspended from the police department until your 30th day, you, your insurance continues. After that, you're going to be responsible for yourself. I can guarantee you the no pay status will never last 30 days. There's no way they're going to be able to sustain a police department workforce at 50% capacity or less for more than seven days without something budging. Um, but again, that's because they're the ones drawing the line in the sand. You have to make a decision what's best for you and your family personally, financially, and everything else that you're going to take into consideration when you make that decision. Um, we'll be here. We'll be answering calls as you bring them in. I'm not going to be able to cover all the what ifs, but uh, we will be filing a grievance to get whatever pay lost and benefits, you know, your, your contributions, everything under the sun will be covered in that class action grievance down the road. We all know when the teachers go on strike uh, for five, six, ten days, the first thing they do is say, you have to pay us for those days we were off. Well, this is a lockout. We're certainly going to demand the city pay our members for the days they lock us out going forward. Um, that's all I have right now. As we file the court challenge tomorrow, I will update you yet again. Um, if the city still doesn't want to come and negotiate like civilized human beings, well, then I guess we'll progress what we do going forward tomorrow and Thursday. Uh, stay tuned for that update. Strange times we're in. Um, stay tuned is all I could say. Thank you. Have you noticed that as everything around you seems to decline, one thing still grows? It is the power of your rulers. None of their plans and directives have solved your problems or made your life better. The only result has been their increased control over you at the cost of your freedom. Do you know why? You gave them the power.